Mother. What is it Father didn't tell me? Did you know, too? Hey, 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 this is what you call getting ready? What? Uh, I'm sorry. Hello. I just got out of the shower. I thought I'd let you know. It's oh, free. Great. Oh, listen, I, I decided where we're going. You'll have to dress formal. I thought you said glamorous. Well, formal and glamorous. Oh, where are we going? Oh, don't spoil your own surprise. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. You have less than an hour. Okay. Hey, Cass. What? Thanks. Oh, you don't thank your commanding officer. Oh, okay. Well, formal attire it is. Big night ahead. Go. I'm go. Go. You reading the one ad? I need a job. Have you been looking? Nothing in here even sounds good. Oh, well, there's always tomorrow. But I have to pay the rent today. There's always the rent to pay. <laughs> 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 Don't do that. You scared me to death. <laughs> you look terrific. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Say, hey, Grandma, do you by any rare chance have any more of Oh, a... I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> Am I that predictable? Yes, but then I've known you for a long time. Mm, thank you. Coffee. Yes, please. Why don't we sit okay. at the table? It's a good idea. Enjoy yourself, Doctor. Will do, Grandma. Thank you. I am so beat. I had to go in early this morning to take care of that post op patient. And then Craig Meadows calls in sick, and they held me over for two hours until I could find somebody to fill in an ER. You're working. Yeah, you want to. Take over for a doctor who's been on his feet since 5 a.m. Mike, at least you're doing something with your life. As opposed to who? Me? You're doing something. What? Taking care of me and making me incredibly happy. That's not what I mean, Jeremy. I know. You want to find a job. Just give it time. I don't have time. Well, something that you want to do is bound to come up. I, I, just hang in there. Did you find out what they're playing at the Cinema 2 next week? You won't understand this at all, do you? What? Hey, you two, are you ready? Ready for what? Oh. oh. I've made my decision on the Paris offer, Mr. Corey. Fine. Won't you come in? Mrs. Corey? Same. Please, sit down. No, thank you. I'm going to say what I have to say and get out of here. You've made your decision about Paris? Yes, I have. And? I'm not going to accept, Mr. Corey. You're not going? No. That's final? You can't get rid of me that easily. I never wanted to do I'm that. I'm staying in Bay City. Fine. That's your decision. It always has been. There's still something I'm wondering about. What? Why is it that you've made a decision to stay? I decided not to go because, for one thing, I don't like the idea of somebody trying to run me out of town. You're not in a Western movie, Sam. Sam just means he feels pressured, Mac. Not by me, he wasn't. I simply offered him the chance of a far better position abroad. Right after you found out Amanda was pregnant with my child. No, it was some time after we found out she was pregnant. That was a legitimate offer. I'm still not going. Fine, good, don't. It's still the opportunity of a lifetime. With too high a price tag. Then does that mean you're staying because... Because of the baby, yes. Leaving would be like walking away from my responsibility to that baby, and I'm not about to do that. Then you do feel responsible for the baby. I don't run from my problems, Mr. Corey. Well, that's odd, because you haven't given us any reason to believe that you're doing anything about them. You know nothing about me. Well, I'm beginning to learn. Mac. Mr. Corey, have you ever asked me? Have you ever given me a chance? In your personal life and your work, I've done nothing but give you All right, chances. both of you, stop. Don't lose your tempers, please. Okay, no sweat. I'm leaving anyway. 
I just wanted you to know that I have a responsibility and I'm staying. Sam! What about Amanda? How do you mean? How do you feel about her? Mrs. Corey, that is between Amanda and myself. Then why don't you tell her? What kind of answer is that? Mr. Corey, I did not come here to argue with you. I came here to tell you that I'm staying, so get used to that idea. I have a responsibility to that child. Good night. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. Uh-oh. I was going to call you from the hospital, but I just got, I got tied up with Dr. Miller, and I just completely forgot to call. Tell me. Yeah, Jamie, I think you should tell her. Well, I promised Vicky that we'd go to the powerhouse tonight. Powerhouse? Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, Lisa, you don't want to go. I mean, no. have a terrific really, time. Really, Vicky, I'm sure it'll be great. I was just in the middle of trying to explain something. Oh, again. I'm sorry. Really, I interrupted. It's okay. Oh, look, uh, it's still so early. I mean, we could meet in a while. Over there. Sounds good. Good. Say a couple hours? Sure. Perfect. Great. Great, great. See, see you guys there. Bye. Bye.